busking while he serves in the fast food chain. He's racked up a million views on TikTok. He's certainly bringing unexpected smiles to people's faces. Let's have a quick look. And we can chat to him right now. He's in the studio with us. Richard, thanks so much for joining me. Hey, hey, it's good to be here. So when did you have this idea? I mean, how long have you been working there? And did you just suddenly decide you're going you're gonna to start singing to the customers? Uh, well, it wasn't entirely my idea. I've been working at uh, McDonald's for, this will be my 10th year, starting from October. Um, but five years ago, yes, uh, my business manager caught wind that I do a bit of singing and a bit of music at church. Right. So he said, you know, why don't you bring a little bit of that to us for our charity event that we're having? And the people responded really well to it. And from there, you could say they were loving it. Yep, like fair enough. Well, why not? Use the and, slogan. <laughs> you know, a cheap plug, <laughs> as if they need it. Um, and from that point, the customer response was pretty clear that uh, they wanted it. And the manager said, let's have this every day as much as possible. So how much do you do of the, of the singing during the day? Do you, do, do you just continually do it? Um, well, day is not the operative word. I work at night. Uh, ah, the OK. Days. Uh, so you get a lot of, like, uh, clubbing customers, you know, with their friend Jack Daniels, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, yes, absolutely. And uh, But also, you know, fun and lucid people out for a good time. Um, I do it every day yeah. as much as possible. If it's really, really busy, then I'll concentrate on handing out food because that's kind of the reason people go there. Yeah. Well, uh, I've been in a McDonald's late at night yep. after, you know, after hours, and it can be quite raucous in there anyway because people have been having a drink, you yeah. know. So is this a way that you sort of you help, uh, that you calm people down and you, you let them know they can enjoy themselves? And Yeah, it's, it's something that, you know, uh, my branch, Liverpool Street, is the busiest uh, non drive through McDonald's in the entire United Kingdom. Is that right? So you get a lot of foot traffic. So there can be some lulls in the time that the food's being served. So yeah. it calms people down. It brings us together a bit, you know. Yeah, because yeah. drunk, hungry people, they're uh, pretty difficult to deal with sometimes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and do you have any particular requests? Do people request songs or do you have a repertoire that you've decided on? Um, I, I have a repertoire because uh, I, I can't sing everything. You right. Know. Yeah, you've got to do a bit of rehearsal, right? Uh, yeah, a bit of rehearsal. I've, I've built up a little repertoire, a little Bob Marley, a couple of uh, Ed Sheeran songs. I've got a little range. Okay. Uh, depending on the age group of people that I'm seeing. So. Yes. Oh, yeah, of course, because it's, it's got to be within their taste, right? The things that they want to hear. Yeah. I mean, generally, people are already shocked at the fact that somebody is singing in McDonald's anyway. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> you know, that helps. The novelty kind of gets us there. And the fact that I'm an OK singer yeah. uh, is the cherry on top. And are the other members of staff joining in at all? Is it just you? Or are you just a one-man band in this? Um, it, it pretty much is just me. Yeah. Uh, the staff, 98% uh, of them seem to enjoy what I'm doing. OK. So, they're all happy. Uh, they're, they're loving it too. Okay. Did you put it on TikTok or did someone else put the footage up there? What happened there? Um, so when I started this, I had no intention of really going viral or anything. Um, but a few times I would see videos pop up of me. Yeah. And nobody knew my name. Yeah. So at that point I was like, well, I'm going to start holding a sign. Yes. With my uh, name on it, with my instant Instagram handle and my TikTok handle. Yes. And if... Anybody captures a video of me, they can tag me in it. Yep. Then I can have the video for myself. I can see the comments that's going on. Um, I, I, I have a background in filming. Okay. So it's, it's sort of ironic to me that most of the filming of me now is not done by me at all. Yeah, it's someone else. Yeah, it's entirely other people. Uh, with their permission, I take their video and put it online on my page. But uh, I see. most of the viral videos are by other people who enjoyed my... Yes. Customer experience, but, if you will. But, but given, given that it's gone viral now, I mean, there must be people who now turn up specifically to see you. And you must be being yeah. recognised a little bit, right? I mean, I, we can see some pictures here now on the yeah. screen of people wanting selfies with you. You've become a bit of a celebrity. Um, a, a little bit. It's, it's, it's interesting. I'll, I'll tell you that. Um, <laughs> a few people have come and uh, given me a couple of gifts. One, a uh, couple of girls wrote me a song. Yeah. Um, which was quite funny. Um, it, it, it is actually becoming a tiny bit troublesome, I oh, think, really? to the management, because people are coming literally, you know, and asking for singing, you know, buying food 
just to keep hearing me singing. Yeah. So I think everybody's learning to deal with that as well. Yeah, but that, I mean, um, that's part of it, isn't it? I mean, it, you know, you have those American diners where people go along to see the staff get up and dance on the tables and things like that. So of course. Why, why can't we do a similar thing here? Um, well, I mean, I can leave the table dancing, but I, I, I get what you're saying. <laughs> and are you, going, are you going to be working there tonight? Or can we come and see you? I'll be there. Right. It's... I'll be there. <laughs> I'll be there. Fantastic. So uh, Richard knows a bit about brightening up people's days. And, and yesterday we touched on uh, Keanu Reeves uh, surprising his fans at their wedding. So uh, we wanted to know what, what, what things have been brightening up your day as well. Has anything brightened up your day particularly? Have you ever been surprised with a random act of kindness, Richard? Um, I've been surprised. I mean, you talk about people who um, appreciate what I do. People yeah. have given, maybe I shouldn't disclose this, but people have given a lot of shall we say, uh, tender. Oh, I, I think I understand where you're going with that. Yeah, and I appreciate that, that's it. Because, that's because you've gone viral, right? That's because everyone knows who you are now. Um, th to be honest, a lot of uh, tender that I got uh, was before this ever really got out. Yeah. Um, a very nice person came in and said, because I was doing it for charity originally. Yes. Um, you know, raising money for Ronald McDonald House charities. And the gentleman said, I see you you singing and raising all this money. And he was like, this is for you, though. Yeah. This money I'm giving for you. Right, OK. And he didn't have to. And no. I didn't realise how much of an impact, like, a bit of kindness or a bit of something unusual, a yeah. bit of passion really but has, a, has a, an effect on people. Also, it, you really give the impression of someone who really loves his job. And I think you, you seem to be having a good time, right? And I think that's really important I, for people because most people don't get that at work. Most people don't enjoy what they're doing. It's, it's definitely unusual um, to... Th this country very much has a sort of live-to-work sort of culture. Yeah. So if you spend a lot of your time in this place of work, you've got to, you've got to try and enjoy it. Yeah. And to be honest, one of the things McDonald's says is you've got to be yourself. Yeah. And this is the great opportunity that I have to be myself do you want, do you want to... As um, much as possible. Can you give us a burst of what your favourite song? Can you do that for us? Or is that putting you on the spot? Oh, no, I can't do that. I'd rather be lying in my bed, thoughts running through my head, and I feel that love is dead. I'm loving angels instead. And through it all, she offers me protection, a lot of love and affection, whether I'm right or wrong. Down the waterfall, wherever it may take me, I know that life won't break me. When I come to call, she won't forsake me. Do, 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 do. I'm loving angels instead. Richard, that's fantastic. That deserves a round of applause from our panel, doesn't it?